All right, everybody, this is Joshua Techtopia TV again, and today I have an unboxing of a Panasonic Lumix G7. Now, this is a micro four thirds 4K camera. I uh, just picked it up as an upgrade for the channel. <clears throat> I got the silver version. It got a little bit of a nick in the box during shipping. I've already kind of opened it up and examined it, and nothing's wrong with it. It literally, something just punctured the box, I guess, a little bit and hit here and just peeled this up and then that was it. So nothing in the box is damaged, so let's get started. Let's see what's inside. All right, so first things first, we have manuals. Gotta love manuals. It's a nice thick booklet here. You can see I'm not gonna, I didn't really wanna open all this, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway, cause why not? It's always fun dealing with all this crap. The warranty, which if you buy, if you buy the camera right now, um, it is on sale for a good amount off. Um, it goes on sale pretty much every month uh, for like three weeks out of every month. It's been like that pretty much for at least since like Black Friday. But um, so anyway, right now there's a rebate. I got this through B&H Photo, um, and there's a rebate for it right now that. Basically, if you fill out the rebate, you send it in, it gives you a three-year extended warranty instead of just the one-year limited warranty. So that's cool. It came in my email, so I'm going to fill that out a little bit later. Um, what is this? Uh, return with the next 10 days, register online. Uh, registration card. All right, and then here, it looks like we have the instructions in Spanish. It looks like we have the instructions in French. If I had to take a guess, that would be French. And then we have the instructions in English. That's the one I want. Um, let's see. And here we have Some extra information in different languages, but I don't see an English version of this, unless it's this one. Yes, it is this one. So recording 4K videos, 4K bursts, 4K pre-bursts. So some extra information there. And then of course, you know, pamphlet to tell you to come up and get more lenses from them. Of course, they always want you to buy more stuff. And then we have the DVD, which, is an owner's manual for advanced features and applications for like editing your photos or video. So let's get into the yummy meat and potatoes. So let me bend this out of the way. So you get a hood, a lens hood. I don't really want to make too much noise. It's gonna be loud, I'm sure. Throw that over there. So you get a lens hood. So that's nice that it comes with that. And you get the lens. Now, okay. <clears throat> so right now I have a, a Nikon uh, D3000, I think is what, I, what it is that I have for my uh, stills. And I got into photography about six, seven years ago. I've always been more into videography than uh, photography, but I couldn't really afford a decent camera. Um, back whenever I bought the Nikon. So I just settled for photography. So I still love photography and um, now I'm really finding the love for videography. Um, sorry if you heard that come up on the mic, there's somebody on a dirt bike outside. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna tell you and that I notice is that this lens is tiny. When I picked this lens up, I almost, I mean, I, I cracked up laughing. Um, this, this, lens holy cow i feel like i'm gonna break this thing <clears throat> so it, has, it comes with a nice cover you know to for the lens for the body side and then a nice cover for the lens side um it this one i got is only 14 to 42 i got the uh, closer range because i don't plan on doing any long range 
I don't plan on doing any long range shooting at all. Um, uh, all my video is going to be like you're watching right now, uh, tech videos up close and personal. So I didn't really care about the zoom lens. I mean, I might buy one later on down the line, but most likely not. All right, so then in the box, it's wrapped in this nice, like, I don't know, medical type bag. It's kind of interesting. You have the camera itself. Now, I uh, decided, let me go ahead and angle this down a little bit. There we go. So I decided that I was going to pick up the silver edition. So I figured it would look a little cooler. It looks a little vintage. Um, it doesn't look too uh, plain and boring. The black just kind of looks, I don't know, cheap. Um, it looks very plastic. Uh, this phone is, or phone, this camera is plastic. It's not a metal body. It is not weather sealed like the GH4, but it'll get the job done. I don't plan on taking it out in nasty weather. I don't f plan on dragging it behind my truck or my car or going into the Sahara with it. So I wasn't worried about um, the weather seal. I was more worried about the quality of the video that it shoots. So um, I went ahead, like I said, and decided to pick up the silver edition instead, just because I feel that it looks better than the all black model. <clears throat> so there's the camera, there's the lens, the lens hood, all comes in the box. Now, there's a strap, nice logoed strap, which is pretty nice to, that they include that, which most cameras do include that. That's what the camera sat on. Now it comes with a charger for the battery, of course. And I like that this charger, because like my Nikon, it has a separate cable that goes to the power or to the block. This one here just has the flip out prong. Plug it into the wall, slide the battery in, it charges, pop it off and be done with it. So I like that there's no extra cable to uh, remember. And if you leave the cable behind, you're pretty much boned. So you don't have to worry about with that with this. And of course the little battery, which I've heard complaints um, on a lot of the things that I read about it, that the battery life isn't great. Um, but then again, I've also read or watched reviews where this little tiny battery, they got like two and a half hours of straight 4K shooting, which if you're doing prosumer stuff and professional type shoots, trying to help a, help somebody out with like a wedding shoot or something, I could see that maybe being a problem. But for me, it's eight minute video here, a couple 30 second pans here and there for the B-roll and I'm done. So again, the battery life wasn't a huge deal for me. It doesn't bother me, never will bother me. Um, and it never bothered me with my little Canon camera either, which the battery doesn't last worth crap. So I think this will be still an upgrade compared to what I have now. And then the charging cable, which is the biggest downfall I would say of this camera uh, from everything that I've read is that this, uh, the USB in this uh, camera and this cable only transfers at a whopping 15 megabytes per second. Panasonic, are you kidding me right now? Um, if you're shooting 4K video, those file sizes are gigantic and transferring at 15 megabytes per second, you might as well start transferring and go have dinner because um, it's going to take you a while. Uh, so I decided to pick up an additional thing. I went ahead and got a 128 gigabyte uh, UHS-2 uh, <clears throat> high-speed um, uh, Lex, I think it's a Lexmark or something like that. Um, I picked up one of their, one of their uh, SD cards, uh, 128 gigabyte. So that way I don't have to worry about, you know, space. I don't have to worry about deleting every single video after I get done with one. I can leave it on there for a little while if I need to. And I also got a Transcend USB, um, USB 3.0, 3.1, 3 in uh, 1 card reader. So it does micro SD, regular SD, and then it does some other larger card that I don't know. It's some pro prosumer card. But anyway, I'll do probably a review on the Transcend uh, card reader at some point. But this was just a quick unboxing. That's it. There's nothing left in the box. We cleaned it out. So you get the, the battery, the cable, the lens, the battery charging block, 
the nice little strap, the lens hood, and of course, the camera. So thank you for watching and hopefully in the near future, the rest of the videos that you will see minus the review of this camera whenever I do it, will all be on this new camera in higher quality. So I will see you in the next video. Peace out.